Welcome back to Dukascopy TV. Since the start of the EU crisis, cracks in the relations between the EU and America have become deeper. Joining me to discuss the future of the EU and the relations between the EU and America is Areste Fapiani, the Associate Professor of International History and Politics at Webster University. Thanks for joining me today, Areste. Thank you for having so, me. Here. Um, can you tell me why have relations become so strained between the EU and America and why do you think it is that the um, American, the America's government in effect depend so heavily on Europe? Well, we have first of all to state that uh, the relations between uh, the United States and uh, Europe uh, have been based for years about military cooperation first of all. And this military cooperation also uh, decreased uh, because uh, of the different wars uh, in the Gulf area or in the Middle East. Uh, because of this uh, situation, uh, even economic relations uh, decreased uh, and uh, the two countries now are facing economic crisis and they're adopting different ways to face the crisis. I do believe, apart from the military aspect, that uh, the United States still needs Europe, uh, but they're trying to, uh, to work out a new way to cooperate. Uh, uh, the new president of the United States will be the key for this new cooperation, uh, as it is the case nowadays with uh, the new president of France, uh, who is working together with uh, Angela Merkel in Germany and Mario Monti in Italy. They will all together create a system to go back to this cooperation. But the military issue is still very important, even for the economic uh, issue. And I do believe that Europe needs to become independent and not so uh, dependent on uh, NATO or US military help. So what do you think lies ahead for the future of the EU? I do not think uh, that uh, we are going to reach uh, the mirage of a United States of Europe, a federated Europe, but at least we can save uh, the currency unit, the euro, which still works well for certain countries. I will not question the possibility of some of these uh, countries, uh, I mean some countries uh, which are willing to exit the euro area, because uh, it's their right uh, to decide about it. So we'll see if Greece or Spain will uh, decide uh, to exit the euro area in the next years, and if it is a positive thing for them. I do not agree with this decision. I think that everyone sh should uh, work together to keep the euro firm and to stabilize a 500 million uh, inhabitant uh, area and market uh, and to become uh, really a counter altar and a competitor to the United States. One solution, according to me, could be, although someone thinks of it as a, uh, let's say, a visionary idea, the access of Russia to the European Union it should be an interesting development because we will have uh, an extremely encumbrant, uh, cumbersome sorry, uh, partner, but very effective uh, on an economic uh, energy point of view. Another issue is that certain countries would have never had the chance to enter the euro without some artifices, some uh, makeup. Uh, such as the case of Greece. Um, they should have waited maybe five to ten years before entering the euro area. This is the case also of Italy, but everyone wanted to be a member of the euro club and so someone forced their way in into this euro club. Uh, maybe they could have adopted uh, the strategy of the UK or other Scandinavian countries uh, in the north, such as uh, uh, Sweden to keep their local national currency and wait, wait and see. But now I think that again going back to national currencies is not the right solution. We should keep to the euro area, uh, stick to this program as long as we can and solve the economic crisis together. 
this is all really nice in theory, but what if countries just cannot stay in the euro? What if they are not able to meet their target, which as we can see, Greece has continuously been unable to reach its target. So what if um, they do exit? It's not uh, a deadly scene uh, exiting the euro area. Why not? If they're not able, they could. They could exit the area. I don't think it's a good thing. We should all work together to keep Greece uh, uh, within the euro area, but not because I'm scared of the domino effect for other countries, uh, uh, namely Spain and Italy, because the three, these three countries are uh, mentioned every time there is uh, the euro issue. Mm, they could exit the, the, the euro area. I don't think there will be huge consequences for the economy of our uh, continent, of the EU, I mean. But I would try, I would struggle to keep this country within the EU area and the Eurozone because I don't think we would give a good s signal to the markets. And finally, what are your projections for the EU-US relationship in the longer term? I do believe that the US will still cooperate with the old world, with the European uh, Union, but we will have different projects as far as the Mediterranean and the Near or Middle East is concerned. I mean, we need a military autonomy, military independence. We don't have to rely on the United States uh, military anymore. But this necessitates uh, an extremely well-prepared and well-equipped uh, European uh, Union armed forces. Up to that point, until that point, uh, maybe we can have uh, another cooperation. But by now, I do think that we are quite behind uh, the schedule. Thank you so much for joining me today and thank you for sharing your insights. Thank you. Well, that's all we've got time for right now, but stay tuned to Dukascopy TV for more updates and interviews. For now, though, goodbye.